Miguel the Scorpion Burchelt versus Oscar Valdez. It's going to be a hell of a fight for the WBC belt at 130. Everybody familiar with the Scorpion knows what he brings to the table. Relentless combinations and pressure. It seems like you never get the same combination twice and all the shots seem thudding. He loves to end combinations with the three dig to the body, beating up his opponents top to bottom or bottom to top, throwing pendulum-like hooks that are wide often, but usually effective. It seems that if you're fighting Miguel Burchell, you're gonna take a beating regardless of the outcome. Some of his favorite shots to throw are of course the three dig, a two straight from distance, and long leaning hooks as well as a unique little double uppercut. Burchell will be the bigger man facing Valdez with a one inch height advantage and a five and a half inch reach advantage. He also rehydrates up to around 144 pounds. Yeah, it's safe to say Valdez has his hands full with a monster in front of him. He's not gonna switch up this is what he's gonna do. 37 and one, 33 people waking up. Don't sleep on his defense either. Uh, caught the two low with his elbow, touched the jab, touched the jab. Level change with Sosa, back step, shuffle out. Pull, duck, pivot, counter. The challenge of 28-0 with 22 knockouts, Oscar Valdez was known as an all-action inside and mid-range monster at the lower weights. Wide but sharp and quick left and right hooks, uppercuts, and overhand rights. Since the quick fight in which he went on to win after getting his jaw broken, he changed trainers to Eddie Reynoso to become more defensive. And since, he's been sort of a mixed bag or as Andre Ward would put it, caught between two styles. One of Oscar's favorite punches is the overhand right. Valdez sets up the shot as a counter behind the jab and likes to throw it after ref breaks and breaks in action. Quick and precise. He's got the smart boxer tonight, and Valdez has few Ooh. answers, although he lands a nice left hook, and he's hurt. Down goes Lopez here in row seven. His other favorite punches are left-hand hooks or threes. Valdez likes to throw going forward, backward, as an inside counter, off a jab, as a leading punch, and more recently, an outside counter, which we will talk about again, quick and precise. shot over look here boom that's the shot that hurt him and then boom he kind of hit Belez with the palm of the glove and that's why fortunately for team Valdez Burchell gets caught with all these shots on a regular basis as he's always throwing those combinations leaving his chin unguarded pros and cons of punches and bunches what is this fight? Yes. right there you see oh nice so left hook oh he so hurt so him so. with that left hook but unfortunately for Team Valdez, Oss is going to have to walk through hellfire to be in position to land these punches. And I don't know if he's willing to do that anymore. But I actually think the last Valdez fight was a test run on the tactics he would use versus Burchell. Valdez turned into an outside counter puncher by using distance. He would set up way outside and wait for his opponent to reach or lunge for offense so he can catch them off balance with the counter three. Check out the distance Valdez was setting up at. High guard signaling, ready to defend, leaning forward, trying to entice the shot.
Now, I think it was a good idea, but Valdez isn't disguising it at all. No jab, step back, no feints, nothing. Oh, left hook puts him down! Watching film of Burchell, I'm sure Team Valdez noticed Burchell tends to lunge and reach from the outside to throw his straights and close the distance. The concept is obvious, right? Oh, left hook puts him down! So with all that said, who do I have winning the fight? I will have no problem picking Valdez, citing that his strongest assets and the outside trap that he was trying to use match up against Burchell very, very well. Had Valdez started using these kinds of outside traps, say three, four fights ago, and disguised them better, I'd pick the upset and be sure of it. I just don't think they've had enough time to perfect that style if they decide to use it, and I don't think Valdez survives at mid-range or the inside either. I'm picking the champion Miguel Scorpion Burchell to win this fight. Valdez has a whole lot of heart, so I think he sells out if he's losing and gets stopped. But I'd be surprised if Valdez pulled off the upset. Not in the least bit for reasons cited in this video. But man, February 20th, Burchelt versus Valdez. It's going to be fireworks. Thanks for watching.